Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Alpha Ambassador, and in this series of short video tutorials, we're going to deep dive into Sony's new menus that we see on cameras such as the A7 IV and the Alpha One. So without much further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at the ISO settings for late model Alpha cameras such as the Alpha 7 IV. Now we come over to the menus here, the Exposure Color tab, page 1, you'll see Exposure there. And if we move over to the right, we can see ISO Auto. Now this will be the range of ISO settings that ISO Auto can use. Now we'll have a lower limit of ISO 100. We can actually modify the upper limit here. Here. Now some people will lower the limit because they don't want noisy images but in some instances then all you'll do is create underexposed images. So I actually don't see much point in lowering the maximum that ISO Auto can use. You can keep an eye on what the ISO Auto is doing and you can use a wider aperture when appropriate, use a slower shutter speed or put the camera on a tripod but I don't really see much point in lowering that upper limit. Now there is an ISO range limit on that second line item. Now uh, we have to go into the menus to change this range. We can't access that by simply pressing the right side of the control wheel when we're not in the menus. And this does lead to some level of confusion why we've got two ranges of ISOs. Basically this um, ISO range is what we're going to be selecting manually. And ISO Auto has a minimum of ISO 100, but we can select ISO values less than 100 when selecting a, um, a specific ISO value. So we can go down to ISO 50. Now the optimum ISO for dynamic range is actually ISO 100. So all we're doing here is uh, finding a way of maybe slowing the shutter speed down a little bit like using uh, an, an ND2 filter. And that doesn't sound that impressive given a lot of people use uh, ND64 or stronger filters. But there we do have that option there. We now have that ISO upper maximum and going all of the way up there um, to 204,000. And you can see how high we can access now by choosing a specific ISO value. The third and last ISO menu setting is the ISO Auto Minimum Shutter Speed. And you can see it is set to Standard by default. If I press the center button in the control wheel to enter that menu, you'll see that it is set to Standard on the left hand side. Now we can modify that setting, but first I'll explain what the Standard setting is doing. There is a reciprocal relationship between the focal length of the lens and the minimum shutter speed that the camera will use. This is in order to avoid camera shake. So if we're using a 135 mm prime lens, you'll find that minimum shutter speed is slightly faster, it'll be 1 one sixtieth of a second. If we're using a 50 mm lens, it'll slow down to 1 fiftieth of a second. And there is the reciprocal rule. The ISO Auto Minimum Shutter Speed is such a useful setting, especially for people shooting in aperture priority, that I recommend assigning it to a custom key. So in order to do that, we go to the yellow Setup Menu, Page 3, Operation Customize, go to Custom Key Dial Settings for Stills, and then assign your key. Now I'm overriding here what would have been the Movie button, but in Stills I don't plan on using that, so I'm reassigning it to ISO auto minimum shutter speed instead. Okay and you'll find that on page 11 of 33 on this Alpha 7 IV camera. Now when I want to change that all I simply need to do is press that movie button that's been uh, reassigned to ISO auto minimum shutter speed and I can have the camera at my eye and see the settings in the viewfinder and I can quickly now roll that rear dial from standard to fast. This is going to double the reciprocal rule uh, shutter speed. So instead of a 50th of a second with a 50mm lens it's now going to jump to 100th of a second with a 50mm lens 
and that means that I'm much less likely to get camera shake even when I'm moving with the camera. So that is a good setting for people who are perhaps finding it a little bit difficult to uh, steady the camera and need uh, more reassurance from a faster shutter speed. You can also go the other way. For instance, if you drop to one knee, you're bracing the camera, you're trying to keep the ISO as low as possible, then you could, instead of uh, shooting at standard, you could go to slow, which will halve the shutter speed. So instead of that 1 50th of a second with a 50mm lens, it'll go down to 1 25th of a second, and we can go even slower, because there is a slower option which will allow us to halve the shutter speed again. So in this instance, I've gone down to the slower setting in order to capture this um, creative shot where I wanted some movement blur, some subject blur from the moving water uh, rushing around the shell on the beach here. Okay, so that is the ISO auto minimum shutter speed slower setting. You will need to brace the camera when using wide angle lenses where the shutter speed might slow down to as slow as one eighth of a second when using ultra wide angle focal lengths. But here I'm actually doing this with one eighth of a second at f5 ISO 1000. Uh, the sun set a long time ago, but I'm hand holding this and keeping the ISO reasonable without having to use a tripod. Now, if you are doing this, you will want to have steady shot uh, on. Uh, if you've got a lens with uh, different steady shot modes, you would switch that over to mode one because you're trying to keep the lens as still or as stable as possible. There are also op opportunities where instead of going into shutter priority to shoot action sports, you can work with aperture priority and then just set a minimum shutter speed. So my default for my sports settings, for instance, is one two thousandth of a second, but assigned to ISO auto minimum shutter speed instead of shutter priority. So there is a slight difference here is if, um, if the ambient light is too low for the camera to hit one two thousandth a second without underexposing, it will go slower than one two thousandth of a second. So if you're trying this out uh, and you're in your office studio and you're trying to assign this and you look through the camera, you might only be hitting one fiftieth of a second even though you've set one two thousandth as your ISO auto minimum shutter speed. It just means that your maximum ISO has been reached and um, the camera can only get an appropriate exposure by slowing the shutter speed down. Now if we were using shutter priority with a fixed ISO, there is always the possibility that we would underexpose in these instances. But with ISO auto minimum shutter speed, it will select the fastest shutter speed possible without leading to underexposure. Okay, and I'm also a big fan of using the slow and slower settings when shooting landscapes because I, I, I know I can reliably hold 1 15th or 1 8th of a second when using my ultra wide angle prime and zoom lenses. If you found this information useful, head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor. I'm offering an alpha creative skills support channel where you can download a 500 page camera specific ebook and I've covered most of the late model alpha cameras. You'll also be able to download a cam set file if you own one of the later model alphas. You'll be able to set up your entire camera with just a single file copied to a memory card. I also offer additional uh, ebooks for people to download to help them master the uh, skills of creative photography and also a range of uh, one hour seminars that look at the uh, using the, uh, the camera gear to the best effect and also to build up your skills of photography in general. So head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor.